What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering draft here on the internet. I'm your host, Frank Lepore, and uh, we're going to be uh, opening some packs here. And, uh, you know, this queue is going to fill up eventually, I bet. I like that there's so much empty space down here. And by like, I mean, think it's weird. Oh, foil Death Baron and a Gigantosaur. Interesting. And a Lich's Caress. And a Heroic Reinforcements. This pack is pretty stacked. <clears throat> what about Morbs vs. Chiefs? Is that one balanced? That one's probably pretty balanced, yeah, because... Um, you know, I bet, I bet Morbs is actually probably stronger than Chiefs because all the Chiefs have relatively low toughness, and the Morves can just trade with them, but also be bigger things later. I'm tempted to grab this Psychic Corrosion and finally try the Mill deck. But, can you really just try the Mill deck? Have we opened Baby Bolas? No, of course not. That would be ridiculous. 25 drafts is too many to open one Nickel Bolas, I think. You really want to hit, like, 60. So... Hmm. Alright, we're gonna go with the mill deck. I don't So <clears throat> this is this is unfortunately gonna provoke a bunch of people in the comments, in the YouTube comments, to say that he's getting worse with every draft, and I don't know why he picked that over the better cards. Uh hopefully my explanation, my verbal explanation of it will deter you, but no guarantees. Uh I like blood divination. Remember, draw a card? Yeah, let's take the Blood Divination, because we can have a bunch of Durly Walls and stuff, and then this just mills them for six. And we can just be a blue-black deck, I guess. I don't know. Anticipate. That is not drawing a card, unfortunately. We could have the Double Volley Veteran deck. That's a good card. Rabid Bite. Now, unfortunately, this, this pack has nothing good for uh, blue or black. Or, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Wall of Mist seems like the real MVP of the mill deck. I'm probably going to take Anticipate here. I like Anticipate because it finds the cards we need for this deck. Oh, Divination. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> or don't. Whatever you want to do. I'm not, you're not my dad. I'm not your dad. No, we're not, no dads are here. I guess there could be some dads. Shout out to all the dads in the chat and the, uh, the YouTube comments. It's either Arcane Encyclopedia, which is a consistent draw engine for a Psychic Corrosion, or Luminous Bonds, which takes us off Blood Divination. I'm going to go with Arcane Encyclopedia. I'm also going to take this horse, because Life Gain seems good in the in the mill deck. Oh, Rupture Spire? Is that a thing we care about? Scholar of Stars? Is that a thing we care about? Are we secretly an artifact deck as well? Remember those watching YouTube videos today and saw my high dill pickle comment and thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I don't it's just a it's just a funny thing to say, right? There's no like secret meaning behind it that I'm missing, right? Scholar does draw, but only if we have an artifact. Uh I think it's still probably better than uh Rupture Spire in this like two color deck. <clears throat> I like Omen Speaker because it actually it's like a nice little speed bump, but I also like Skeletal Archer because it's just a better card. I'm going to take the Archer and presume we can get more uh, Omen Speakers when we need them, if we'd like. Okay, just making sure. I don't want to think I missed anything there. Eh, just take Mind Rod, I guess. There's apparently a ripple in the space-time continuum back here. Can I send you a DNA sample kit? I could use a dad. Are you my dad? <laughs> Just <laughs> Matthew, or I have bad news for you. Just because you sent me the sample kit doesn't make me your dad all of a sudden. I don't think any of these cards are playable. I'll take the tormenting voice in case we end up a red instead. Ah, that's life. 
So, so short. Um. Yeah. In that vein, I'll take this guy, just in case. Can you adopt us all chat mics? No. That's too much chat mic uh, responsibility, unfortunately. I mean, it's not because I don't love you guys. It's just because... Oh, it's because I don't love you. I'll be honest. I've been living the lie for too long. What is my favorite soup? Um, it's probably... Uh, it's probably tomato... What's it called? Tomato soup? I feel like there's a better name for it than that. I think it's just tomato soup. As long as I can dip my grilled cheese in it. Did it, boys? <clears throat> oh, a psychic symbiont? Now I don't know if I care. Now I just want a Grixis deck. Now I wish I took the red black land that was floating around last time. All right, well. Oh, do we do it again? Do we do the uh, the, the, the Palaka Orm Grixis deck? That deck was amazing. Actually, it might just be Millstone. Tiger Nate, thank you so much for the resub. Is flashing red hair really worth it? Um, I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'm gonna take the millstone because we are that we're we have no reason not to keep on this mill train. Oh, I like sift a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna take sift and hope the Cinder Barons comes back. <clears throat> there he is. There's your daddy. Oh, Tiger Nate was just joking. Fantastic. Fantastic. Because I think the answer is yes, especially because it only costs one red to flip him. Sift is likely better fixing than Cinder Barons. Well, you got one mountain in the deck? You'll find it. Don't worry. We'll get there. Our first pick was Psychic Corrosion. <laughs> Saint Nick. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Beer Man Man, I saw an ad for Red Dead Redemption 2 on Facebook, and it said pre-order now, and I was like, oh, I should do that. And then I clicked on the link, and I still have it open right now for pre-ordering. So you might get me to do that. <clears throat> and I say you as if, like, you had any hand in that. You might get me to do it. Uh... Is it abnormal just so we can... Yeah, we're taking the abnormal just because we want to keep this nickel bolus alive. You're... <laughs> Your hair is looking impeccable today. That's all I could ask for. Kerwit, one ordinary buck. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, the donation goal. Every day, one thing isn't working, and I have to click it to, to reset it. Hold on. Boom. I kind of want this guy, but I really don't want another four drop here. I don't think I want a second abnormal endurance, though. Oh, phylactery lich? Interesting. I was watching on Vintage Cube Draft on YouTube, saw you open bullets, so I switched to this. <laughs> That's a card you can't open on Vintage. <laughs> That's a good point. That is fair. 100 nickel buckas. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. Got him. It's a bolus buck. How did I not read that part? That's the funniest part of it. I don't know if you got him, though. You probably got him. Oh, Sarkon's unsealing with nickel bolus? Combo. This feels not as good in limited. I still think I'm just going to take it. <laughs> just in case. Man, these picks are rough. Should have went with Plock Orm. This is not... This would have helped our Plock Orm fixing, but here's an Omen Speaker, so that's pretty good. Uh, just take you, because you're nice and... 
You're a nice early thing. Is that Cinderbrand's really not coming back? Are there really that many haters in this in this draft? Wow. Haters gonna hate. I like that our sideboard is our literally our, our entire deck is literally Grixis. We don't have a single non Grixis colored card. We have a lot of playables on the sideboard. We have a Macabre, it's a Mind Rot. Walking Corpse is serviceable. Where's a Manolith when you need it? A second Psychic Corrosion, I think, and we're like... We're in good Milltown. Also, Walking Corpse is nice with Blood Divination. Like, it's just a guy to sacrifice. Chaos Wand. Interesting. It's probably Chaos Wand. As you guys know, Chaos Wand is pretty powerful. It's a powerful wizard. Yeah, we're going to take that. I mean, Aviation... A aviation... Whatever it was called is good. Um, Sky Marcher is good. Sky March Bloodletter, rather. A lot of good cards in that pack. Aviation Pioneer, is that it, really? Pioneer seems like an interesting... Uh... I don't even want none of the above. It's got to be Millstone, right? Two Millstones and a Psychic Corrosion? Oh, Demon of Catastrophes is interesting. It's got to be this guy, right? Strangling Spores is great, but it's not like 6-6 six, six Flyer great, right? Yeah, we're going to take the, the demon. Still got my eyes peeled for these lands. I'm going to take Salvager of Secrets. I think it's good with, like, Sift, Blood Divination, Regular Divination, uh, this, this. I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe that's not great. It's, it's the best card in the pack, though. Oh, Grave Digger. That is a late Grave Digger, too. God, and a Rupture Spire and a Lich's Caress? I want all of these things. I think we actually need the Lich's Caress. Ugh, it feels, it feels bad, man. Oh, Omniscience. That's an, actually a pretty good way to play Nicol Bolas. Just Omniscience that dude out. I don't think we want another Divination. We have a lot of card draw right now. We have Sift, Blood Divination, and Regular Divination. Uh, also an Arcane Encyclopedia. I think we actually just want to cancel. We might not be playing this, unfortunately. We have literally no way to really make it work. Ooh. We can just play two, two Mountains. We have enough. Actually, I could see just playing it with two Mountains. I don't think I've seen many walls either. Which is really like... When you're sitting behind... God, we could have had two of these guys as well. I always see multiples of this guy. I think Fountain's actually pretty reasonable here. <clears throat> Alright, you guys are saying play Bolas. I'm just going to take Fountain here. I think it's the best card in this pack. Is there anything we're not playing in here? I think Scholar actually got better with the double millstone and the chaos wand. 
<laughs> Why do people incorrectly play Fountain in non-life gain decks? Oh, this meme is the best, man. <clears throat> it's also Salvager just got better with the cancel and the uh, the Lich's caress. Yeah, I'll take a duress. I'm definitely not playing any additional red cards, that's for sure. Seven targets for Salvager. Reasonable. I mean, Psy would trigger five times, if that, and presumably would play one of these on two. So, like, we have four targets for Psy. Symbiont is so much better than Psy Unlimited. <laughs> Not even close. Psy is very frequently just a 1-4 that you get maybe one Thopter out of at some point. It's basically just a glorified aviation a pioneer. Four artifacts not good enough for Scholar. Well, thankfully, we have five, so that's that's good. Reese, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. These are the children of the night. I'll probably play Omen Speaker over Scholar. It does a similar thing, and I'd rather have one less four drop and one more uh, defensive two drop. Uh, Winter on Chaos Wind is pretty much always, like... Um... Just take a Sea Serpent. Okay, so it doesn't have double the stats. It has literally two more toughness. It doesn't have more power. So it's a 1-4 instead of a 1-2. Uh, it's not It's not really a card draw engine, because an engine require an engine implies something that you're going to, like, churn through. It really, like, with four or five artifacts in our deck, like, you're really not... You're going to draw, like, two or three cards maximum over the course of more than one game, I would say. Like, that's not consistent. I think you're really uh, using the term engine loosely there. I mean, a card that you sacrifice two of your things to draw one card is not really an engine. Uh, I could see taking out Blood Divination from a Cobwaltz. We already have Sift, so that's pretty okay. Yeah, that's a good that's a good choice. Man, Blood Divination so good though. Draw three. My concern in this format is just being able to have time to actually activate millstones. Like, taking a turn off to play a millstone... Like, this format's not aggressive by any means, but, like, it's consistent. Like, you want to be hitting your drops every turn. I'm invisible? I could see you, though. I don't understand. What does that mean? I think this is just a deck. I don't think we're changing anything. Add basics. Two of these bad boys. Yeah, 872 sounds good. We have two double black cards. One, two double blue cards. This seems fine. I think we have enough, like, card filtering to get get this Nicobolus mana out there. Yeah, I could actually see two millstones being too many, but I don't know what else. I, like, we don't have that many things to add instead. Maybe one frilled sea serpent instead of one millstone. I, do, I, don't, I don't mind that. 
I don't want to die after all. Or fountain. I can see fountain is just like a as a way to gain some life. Yeah, we actually have no uh, non Grixis cards. In our, okay, well here we go again. Welcome to round one, where. Uh, yeah, all right, let's do it. I'm gonna put you on the bottom because we don't have any black mana. So, let alone two black mana. Oh, I didn't even realize we had this Talarian Scholar in here. I guess I don't hate it. Oh my god, for a second I was like, oh my god, did we accidentally put red mana on our deck? I actually totally forgot about the uh, the old Nicol Bolas. We'll just play you to make sure we hit some things. Alright, what do we want? Swamp? I don't want either of these because we don't have the mana to utilize them. Which is sad. But, like, once we hit lands, we have Arcane, Encyclopedia, and Millstone online, so. They're giving us a lot of time here, which is very, very nice. I think it's just Encyclopedia here. Like, we don't need a blocker yet. And I'd rather just make sure we hit a land next turn. Game Crank, thank you so much for the sub! Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Revitalize. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Oh, are you going to get rid of my Encyclopedia? Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Well, that's awkward. Okay, well, they're not really land. Okay, well. Millstone time, boys. I'm not a huge sealed fan. I feel like you're you're too much at the mercy of your. Right, we're just gonna play this. I would love to mill you this turn, but I got things to do. The problem is now we're just like so off tilt. We're like off kilter as far as mana goes because now we can't play. Um, snapping Drake and mill them. Last turn we divinationed and only had one land, so we couldn't mill them. Like. We're just hemorrhaging mana efficiency. It's really sad. Take a look. It's in a book. I think we're just still playing Snapping Drake. They haven't done anything. Unless they're like going to cleanse the earth. Uh oh. Shock incoming. Pew pew. Electrify? Alright, that's better. I'd rather you spend four man on that guy. I guess we could wait it to Abnormal Endurance, too. That would have been a thing. But I really just don't... Like, I don't know if I care about that. I guess I just Archer here? Keep up Millstone? Like, saving the Archer for some weird situation where you kill an X1 is not ideal, especially when we have an extra three power on board. What up, Quacker? Interesting. That's good. I have a millstone on board, buddy. You're making mistakes here. Oh, God. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I th I'm pretty sure I can actually mill you sooner than... I can go anywhere. Take a look. It's an odd book. It's a millstone. I guess we're just going to do this abnormal endurance on, on board. Uh, bottom. 
And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't care about this thing. I want to hit Nicol Bolas. That's greedy. Like, real greedy, but... I don't care. Yeah, so far we've seen Tormenting Voice, Electrify, Take Vengeance, Revitalize. So, I'm pretty sure Chaos Wand is going to be MVP this game. This match. Um, Yeah, that's fine. Also, Lich's Caress. I think Chaos Wand is actually... Uh, just busted. And a, a second Tormenting Voice. <gasps> Hello! <laughs> this is really a scoop. Alright, I'm done. This is like a second Electrify. And we should just saved our abnormal endurance. See, we should have played a land there because, um, and a macabre waltz. All right, the deck is just mono instants and sorceries apparently. Well, I'm going to attack because if you have an instant speed way to kill this guy, you're just going to use it anyway. So. Oh my god, we just flipped it. <laughs> they conceded immediately. The same second, they're like, alright, I'm gonna get ready. They were probably hovering over it for when I activated this and flipped. They're like, alright, let's do it. That's fantastic. Alright, well, that's a thing. I'm tempted to bring in the Mind Rot. I think our deck is actually fine. I don't know how they actually win games, though. Like, we didn't see any super good threats. Mulligan again. I'll, you know what? I'll keep the... Oh, yeah. Oh, we got, we got value for days, boys. Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. I had to blow my nose. And I never I never want to show you guys me blowing my nose. Leo Magic, I didn't see it. Thank you so much for the resub. Hashtag bird facts. <laughs> fantastic. That's just fantastic. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, sweet Christmas. Yeah, so we're just going to play this on later turn. We're going to Psychic Corrosion first so that we can maximize our millage we're going to take a bit of damage from this I guess we're going to, going to go to 14 which is totally fine oh well now we're going to go to less I guess loved your cheater rant from the other day <laughs> glad to hear it buddy Oh boy. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? This is a much more aggressive start. I don't know where this start came from. In fact, we're almost dead if they have an answer for this guy. Why do you have to take off your human mask to blow your nose? Uh, if I told you that. Well, I'm just not going to tell you. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess we're going to four here. Because I'm not going to block the guy that gets shuffled back into your deck. Because it's pre printing three here is the same as printing three here. So. Going to four. Seems bad. Oh boy. Wow, this game went uh, significantly differently. I got really excited about this Chaos Wand. 
Hmm. Pretty sure it's gotta be Chaos Wand here. But we take two, and then they play a Spark Tongue Dragon, and then we take another two. No, they they got a Swift Blade back. Okay. Still think we're dead. Yep, now we're definitely dead. That's not gonna do it. Yep, all right, cool. That will do. Wow, that was a uh, significantly different game. Hmm. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, let's keep this. I like Diamond Mare, and I like Talarian Scholar here. That should give us the time we need to set up. Boarding in creatures for game two seems like a pretty solid strategy. I can support that. Look at that, Mr. I never opened... Yeah, I mean, 25 drafts and I opened one Nicobola, so I'm a real... Yeah, I'm a real success story. <laughs> Just, uh. After 75 packs, I opened one mythic worth money. The Frank Lepore story. Look at my beautiful colors. I'm just gonna play guys until I don't. I don't really want you to kill my horse, I guess. But I guess if you're playing Take Vengeance, then you've already lost. Did they board back into the No Creatures plan? What is even happening right now? This deck has been completely different from uh, from one turn to the next. You got it. Draw a card against the mill deck. Thank you. DM, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Well, if you didn't have anything last turn, I can't imagine you have something this turn with the Cinder Barons. Ah, wow. They are killing my... my Aggressive. Oh, we hit a Luminous Bond, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. DM Harnack, you I would say that you're the man, Harnack. I would say that you are the man. I'm just gonna mill you now. Macabalt and a Marauder's Axe. Angel? Spark Tongue Dragon. You got it. You got it. I'm gonna wait until turn seven to play this guy. And then I'm gonna wait till turn eight to play this guy, so. I'll make you discard. Seems good. I guess we could play it now. It's probably... Yeah, let's just... No, we want a millstone. We want a millstone. Millstone wins in seven turns. So... Actually, more with Chaos Wand out, but... Fewer. Fewer turns with Chaos Wand out. Yeah, I'll take three. I did see the new Venom trailer, and I'm, I'm just really... I have some real issues with it. Sure. Oh, 
Ooh, spit flame. You'll get caught up in the spit flame. That doesn't make any sense. That's not even a real song. Because they have Take Vengeance, I'm actually going to uh, wait to... Um, my main issue with Venom... Um... Sure, this is fine. This is just fine. Oh, oh, interesting. Uh, my main issue with Venom is that uh, Sony literally learned nothing from Marvel, and Marvel took ten years to to build this amazing universe. Uh, you know, all the characters make sense why they're in the universe. They're they're all doing things that uh, that are that are explained, and you know, they have backstories and they connect to one another. And you're never like, well, where did this character come from? Why is this character related to this character? I don't understand. You, you make sense. It all makes sense. With Venom. Uh, he's not going to be a part of Spider-Man at all. Like, there's no, there's no, the spider is not on his chest because he never had that, uh, the, the symbiote was never influenced by Spider-Man. And I don't understand why you would do that. Um, when you have, you just had Spider-Man Homecoming come out, which is amazing. And you can, you can actually take your time. And build this this awesome MCU like franchise that is actually ingrained with the Marvel Cinematic Universe the same way Homecoming was, and you're choosing not to, and it's very strange to me. It just feels really weird. It feels like a wasted opportunity, basically. Like, it's just, it, it almost, uh, it's rumored that Spidey will be in Venom, but there's, uh, I don't, I don't see why it, he would be. Like, it just doesn't really make sense. Why would not? Why would Spider-Man not be in a Venom movie? Because he's hasn't been, like, he's not a part of the Venom mythos in the movie. Spider-Man has absolutely nothing to do with Venom in the movie. Apparently, like according to that, I mean, like that makes sense. Like based on the trailers and the storyline, Spider-Man is the symbiote has nothing to do with Venom or with Spider-Man. So, I mean, why would he be in the movie? All right, we're in four cards a turn mode, and we have a normal endurance to stay alive. So we're just going to keep passing and try to mill. Yeah, I was going to wait to salvage uh abnormal endurance so that we can get something else back, but... My hope is that assets of a sequel for... Assets of a sequel? Is that what you mean? I mean... It's not going to make any sense, though. Venom, the reason Venom is a Spider-Man villain is because both Eddie Brock and the symbiote have a mutual dislike of, of Peter Parker. Eddie Brock was a reporter and Peter Parker made him look bad. And the symbiote felt uh, like a child that was given up by Peter Parker. So, like, both of them have this resentment towards Peter Parker and Spider-Man. So it makes total sense why Spider-Man and Venom are villains. That's why they're such great enemies because like this the combination of the two characters as Venom is is perfect. But like without that backstory in the movie, why would they even be bad guys? And that'll do. All right. Win the game. Oh, Sift. Actually, Sift might have just killed them on the spot. 
this movie could set up Spider Verse now. Yes, I just but I just went over the fact that it has no relevance. Like let's yeah sure let's set up Spider Man like that's like setting up. I'm trying to think of like a, a villain who is created out of the out of the actions of a hero, right? What villains were like, were like born out of? Mm. Doctor Doom movie without the Fantastic Four is a perfect example. Uh, Doctor Doom is is literally like almost and I wouldn't say exclusively, but like very very heavily born out of his animosity towards Reed Richards and their competition during during college. So like it's like having a Doctor Doom villain that hates the Fantastic Four. But then making a pre a, a pre a, like a pre Doctor Doom movie that has no connection to the Fantastic Four, and you're like, why is this guy not like them? What's what is this? What is the 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 problem here? You don't build the storyline that connects these two characters, so it just doesn't make any sense. So why not give everybody what they want? What is that? What who's everybody though? <laughs> Who's everybody? I don't want this. And if if like ninety percent of America, that's which is a ridiculous, uh, that's 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 a uh, just a random unrealistic statistic you just made up, Matthew. Ori. Most of us only know Venom by the fact that he was a Spider-Man movie. So why not get? I'm like, if that's the only reason you know Spider, that, if that's the only way you know Venom is from a Spider-Man movie, then why is that something that you want? What do you what do you love about the Spider-Man? For the what do you what do you love about Venom from Spider-Man Three, which was not a great movie, that makes it what everybody wants? Because that seems weird. I'm gonna keep this in. <laughs> Back to the magic. If the average MCU fan doesn't know who who Venom is, then they probably don't give a shit about a Venom movie. Does that make sense? If you're making a Venom movie, you're making it for Venom fans. Would be my would be my theory. Have you ever watched Venture Brothers? I actually love Venture Brothers, and the lack of backstory is part of the appeal. I don't think that's true. A, I think I think Venture Brothers, the lack of backstory for Venture Brothers, it works because there is no backstory for Venture Brothers. It doesn't, there's no backstory to pull from. Whatever backstory there is, is just exposition in the plot. Like, they could make it up as they go. And second, there actually is backstory, um... In Venture Brothers, and the backstory is that all of the villains and characters are based on previous characters and villains from older cartoons and comic books. Baron Underbite is actually like a Doctor Doom esque character. Um, the Phantom Limb, like all of their all of their villains and characters, even like they're they're based on Johnny Quest. Even like they're, they've all pulled from from other characters and 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 villains. Like there there is total backstory in Venture Brothers. Oh, that was a good draw. Let's get Millen. <laughs> Fun and tall, just just click the button, man. Just play your stupid land. Always yield to that. Always yield to it. I want to play this. If they have Essence scattered, rather than scatter this guy than the Archer. Plus, looks like they're missing a land here. Oof. Two lands. Oh, interesting. All right. Let's get in there. Turn three corrosion. Like, I don't think these characters really exist on their own. I don't think Venom... I don't think I don't think Venom could exist without Spider-Man uh, as a character. It doesn't, and I also don't think it needs to. the The backstory that Venom has with Spider-Man is so rich and like it's it's a great backstory. 
I, I don't understand why we need to abandon that just to make a quick movie. Can't you just wait? If you waited a year to release the Venom movie after a new Spider-Man movie came out where you where you tease Venom or like start like Ven maybe Spider-Man finds the suit and then he uses it for a movie and then he ditches the suit and the su you see the suit crawl off at the end or whatever, you know, like whatever, whatever you want to like say, you know, like you can make there's so many ways to make it. <laughs> Our deck is cool. And scoopums. Also, I really don't like the scenes in the trailer where Tom Hardy's like, Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know why we did that. Oh, I'm really sorry. Like he's like it's it's such a weird twist because there's this part in the movie where he's like he's standing up to this guy. He's like Hey, can I get that on the record? Like, he's, like, standing up to this guy who works at this company. And then there's this other scene where, like, the, the symbiote's coming loose and attacking people. And he's like, oh, I don't know what we're doing. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, are you, what? Why are you getting all, like, <laughs> why are you getting all emotional about this? Well, I don't know why we did that. And I'm just like, this is really kind of strange. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. It's like if you had a show about Joey from Friends without the other friends, and you never referenced Friends in the show. That's that's what it's like. The difference is the difference is you can have zero expectations for Venom and then have zero expectations for Logan and Spider-Man, but Logan and Spider-Man still respected their source material. So, Joey, that show sucked. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. I think I actually just want to play Omen Speaker here to get closer to red mana. Ooh, do we keep these? What do? I don't think we need either of these, to be honest. I just want to hit a red mana so I, I can demulligan with this Nicol Bolas. Do we have way more black cards? I could have sworn we had way more blue cards in the deck, but what do I know? Uh, nope. I actually is Chaos Wand good here? Chaos Wand always feels good, right? I'll just take a Chaos Wand. It could respect the source material and be complete. Yeah, sure it could. Sure it could. It definitely could. But I think you'll find. That every comic book movie that respects the source material and gives themselves a good amount of of time, like that doesn't rush itself, has been good in the past five years, maybe longer. The only movies that have not been good are the rushed movies and the movies that don't respect the source material, and I would say those are X-Men movies. And DC movies. But Deadpool? Very good. All the Marvel movies, very good. One Professor <laughs> Fantastic. I actually like Solo a lot. It respected the source material. I love Solo. I, I thought it was a great movie. I enjoyed watching it. I was super surprised by it. Why would I? Why would I not be honest about that? Matthew, or I think Juggernaut was great, and it's because it was so much different than the Juggernaut from X Men, whatever X Men movie it was in that was not great. Yeah, Juggernaut was fantastic. Also, spoiler: uh, Juggernaut was played by Ryan Reynolds in, um, in Deadpool two. So next time we're just going to go horse and Nicol Bolas. We could play Nicol Bolas here, but I'd really like to be able to give them one turn. So I want to be able to flip it the turn after we play it. 
guy's not really doing anything. They could also kill it with that, so I'm going to try to see what you got. <laughs> there you go. I'll sleep you. Womp womp. I guess we'll just take two here. X-Men is not part of the MCU. That is correct. I don't know why you're... That's just a random thing. That's just a random comment. I haven't fixed it. Thank you for the re thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Um, -do 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 well, now we know we get away with... Let's say black. Nikki B. Always yield. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I accept Switcheroo there. We have Lich's Caress for our own Nicol Bolas. Thank you. Authentic David, thanks so much for the sub. Welcome back. Glad I was in the U.S. for a bit so I could re get started a sub. Hello from Russia. Hey, Russia. Um, we have nothing in our graveyard. That's super weird. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wish we had more mana, but. Salvage of her secrets getting back S Lich's caress. We also have a macabre waltz in our deck. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but it'll do. We could also be chaos wanding them. All right, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we can chaos wand and psychic corrosion. Is that good? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not actually concerned of them flipping it. I'm concerned of them having a 4-4 flyer. <laughs> it's more mana efficient, but I don't know if we have the, the, the luxury of being mana efficient when they have 7 power and flyers. I guess we could just wand here. I'm going to see what we get with wand. Well, that's nice to know. Actually, we should have done that. We could have blocked. I'm bad at this game. I kind of wanted to play around counter spells. All right, we're probably just blocking with Avon Wind Mage here. <sighs> yep. Yikes. Well, you're welcome for the Bane Fire. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mind Rot one time. Well, that's not a Mind Rot at all. One, two, three. So basically, we're just, we're just dead here. I guess we're not dead. <laughs> Come on. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think we have more black cards than blue cards. I feel like listening to whoever said that was probably not the best idea. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, there's absolutely no way we have more black cards than blue cards. I have no idea why the, why whoever said that said that. I was like, no, that's not true. Our deck is primarily blue. Uh, let's play first. Yeah, David, I thought it was you, but I didn't want to make it. I didn't want to assume that. Uh, I was like, oh, I don't think that's true. All right, this is where we die if we don't hit a hit land here. So, off the top. All right, good games. Well, uh, so that was uh, that was uh, the dream of three O was uh, was was nice. I'm glad we glad we had it for a moment. Oh, a gutter snipe. Well, this certainly isn't imminent doom. Actually, we probably should have played Chaos Wand. Huh. Well, that must be nice. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. All right. Cool. I had a good time. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys have a good time? I had a good time. I had fun. All right. Let's try to 2-1 again so we can make sure our 2-1 streak is alive. I would hate to actually win my whole draft based on uh, skill and and fair, fair matches, but maybe one day. Yeah, this hand seems fine. Some solid mana production here. I'll just play an island. This feels like Vintage Cube where they go like dual land, dual land, Mox, Bird of Paradise, and you're just like, basic land, go. This is such a terrible blocker. I'm just going to play Chaos Wand because we can here. The funny thing is, since they're green, they could have, like, Titanic growth, and then, like, I guess we could just choose not to play it. What, are they missing a third land drop? Not anymore, I guess. I'm really surprised they didn't play that last turn instead of the bird. I come back to your stream every year or so around the time when I come into magic and you keep getting older and more grizzled. Wow, really? Good lord. Thanks. I guess that's how aging works. I don't know. That's a I'm just gonna pass here. I'll take three. I doubt they're gonna have any removals. Well, they might actually with double submerged boneyard, but I think it's worth waiting for them to try to play something just in case they have a counter spell. Big fan. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Here we go. 
something good. Hydra for three. Oh, all right, we're gonna. The problem is if we do hit a removal spell, we'd rather kill this guy. Nailed it. <laughs> I nailed it. Oh, that's the best. Wall of Mist, Salvage of Secrets, Liliana's Contract, Exclusion Mage. Interesting. One old grizzled buck. Thank you so much, Kerwit. Appreciated. Hmm. Should we name Black for this Diamond Mare, you think? Yuck, yuck, yuck. I'm pretty sure it's just Diamond Mare into Divination. Or even Wind Mare. Wind, Wind Mare? I would name Red. <laughs> Solid strategies all. Um, who said Twitch chat isn't like outside assistance? Uh, I don't care about this guy. I'm just going to Divination. I really want to hit a land for next turn, so. I figure there should be one in the next three. Okay, well, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Old Man Frank would be great. Don't kill my diamond mare, dude. It's like the rudest thing you could probably do. Okay, that's fine. I accept that. Does Fair Ground have clone dog? No, I think it's, uh, well, it's not in the mini series, in the ongoing series, maybe. Oh, no land again. That's, that's nice. That's very nice. So apparently they're playing. A good amount of black mana, black cards as well. Hmm. Huh. It's all very interesting here. I wish I could keep up cancel and something else, but that's not the world we're living in, guys. I want to get rid of this because it's pretty good. This is my little book. It's gonna draw me some cards. Do you mainly do serialized comics? Uh, and, uh, graphic novels are usually just collected issues, so that's a hard question to answer, buddy. I, I would say most graphic novels are just collected from individual issues. Man, we can't do anything. Are you going to Essence Scatter this guy? That seems worse than just drawing a card. That's like the least Essence Scattery creature you could do. Thanks for the hours of content while you work. Hey, buddy. Anytime. It's the least I could do. Did I just draw a card? Why would you tap this guy instead? That's all your green sources. What if you drew a green card? They're like, joke's on you. This is the only green card in my deck. Six land. Alright, we did it. Do they have a counter spell? I don't know. Do I care? Nope. Alright, I care. I, I didn't want to, but I care. I mean, we got Macaw Bolts, so. Nikki, be off the tippity top. 
and then they'll counter it, and then we can go Macabre Ball to get Nikki B Psychic Symbiont back. That's all I really want to do. This guy's also dealing one a turn, which is just fine. And pretty soon we're going to start milling them, and it's just going to be... It's just going to be great. They're already... Four cards a turn is a lot, let's be honest. That was not a Nikki B. You going to counter this too? No, you ain't. You ain't going to do it. Um, -do 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 second blue would be nice here. Actually, it might just chaos wand them. Sack Nikki beat a demon would be pretty valuable. I don't know how we'd lose. I don't really care about this guy. I'll be honest. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep up my artifacts. I could take two here. <laughs> declare bankruptcy. You can't just declare bankruptcy. God, I love the office. All right, now we're going to Chaos Wand. Let's see what happens. Actually, we can wait. I don't care about that. I'd rather... I, I You have a lot of counter spells, apparently. You have at least three counter spells that we've seen. Let's see what we get. Lich's Caress! Gasoline! Oh, that's beautiful. What a time to be alive. Can we do it again? You got a fourth counterspell? I bet you do. You seem like a fourth counterspell kind of guy. Can I get an island? A second island? No, a swamp? Okay. Well, I accept. I begrudgingly accept, let's say. <coughs> I'm going to pass because I don't think we're winning through damage. And if we attack with this guy and they somehow like switcheroo this guy, then we... Don't really have good blocks. They can tap this to switch a roo and then we just take a point. It's not worth dealing them one to take one. I was thinking speaker into David. Well, congratulations, buddy. God. That David. He's always thinking something, isn't he? He's got his own thoughts and things. Well, we're gonna start milling you soon. Probably now. It's gonna be psychic. Okay, well, right. Okay, go right. It's so one, two, three, four, five. I'd like to keep cancel up, but I still can't. So we can keep both of these up and cancel. One, two, three for cancel. One, two for millstone. Now we're one shy. Five, six, seven, eight. We need four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whatever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we just keep up Chaos Wand and Millstone, we probably can't lose this game. A bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it plays out. Let's see if it works out. I don't know. You got it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't let this. I can't let this stand. I'm sorry. It's too good. It is too good. It's too pure for this world. Yeah, it's weird that they keep tapping the creature. I don't understand that either. Two lands. So five, six, seven, eight lands still. So four, five, six. We can play Omen Speaker. There's going to be a Nicol Bolas on top, which is going to be just great. You guys ready for that? We're going to keep it on top. It wasn't there. I lied to you. I don't care about either of these because they're not Nicol Bolas. I don't know how much more clear I can be. Maybe we can win through damage. I don't know. I'd rather not, though. I'd rather just mill them. See their entire deck. Horizon Scholar? Fell Spectre? Ooh. Not to be confused with Phil Spectre. Recollect getting back Isereth. That's pretty interesting. Let's see if you got anything else. No, you are out of cards. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Up until the exclusion mage. This is your deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. We get rid of swamp and forest. I've noticed they've stopped drawing cards. Nicobolus. That's <laughs> a. Okie dokie. All right. Sounds good. Glad those are gone, I guess. Um, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Just play you. I guess we're getting back Lich's Caress. We're going to hold back. I want to be able to block the Isoreth. What can they get back even? Two-headed zombie, even wind mage. Oh, I guess, I guess they get back Meteor Begolem, which is pretty scary. I guess they're, they're probably going to kill the Millstone, comically enough. Yep, the old tap album. You confused Phil Spector with Phil Hartman? That's terrible. That's terrible. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. Wow, that was an interesting choice. That is not what I would have expected. Because now I'll just easily block here. Does it matter the order when you have Death Touch? I don't think so. I feel like you're just going to die to this. Like you knew I had that. We 
we're at 23. I'm just gonna mill you now. I don't care. I just want to get some good cards out of your deck. Oh, those are good ones. All right, so we're gonna get rid of Exclusion Mage and Fell. Sp Actually, there's less than this, right? Because you've drawn things. So, oh, they probably have Contract in hand. I have to assume. So, because obviously you're not gonna play that. That's a blank. Horizon Scholar is a good one. But we have Demon of Catastrophes, and I don't think their hand has... The remaining cards in their deck have no way to deal with that except for Salvager of Secrets, but... Okay, draw a card. Scholar of Stars is gone. So you have, you're going to have two cards? You're basically just dead, right? And that'll do it. Hi, I'm Troy McLure. You may know me from such films as... Do we board anything in? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't really confused. <laughs> I'm going to get this Duress in here. That seems like a solid card. Burp, 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 burp. Mm-hmm. Why not the second millstone? It was just too much. Wow, I don't know what that that's not okay. Alright. Uh yeah, this hand's great. What's the SD deck list thing? It shows you deck lists that I'm playing currently or will be playing. I don't think knowing you're wrong and being confused. Yeah, you would say that because you're wrong. So it's weird to... Every land I find, I will leave on top. Oh, double island? I'll leave a single island on top. We have an arcane encyclopedia. We're going to Psychic Corrosion, like, immediately. And it's going to be the best. It's just sitting there. You can just move it if you want. It's movable. Mill that boy Ojitai. That's what I would say there. Oh my god, they naturalized my corrosion. What are you going to do now? Nothing. They have so many counter spells that Chaos Wand is actually just fantastic. Oh, they got back their... Oh, they got back their thing. 
Well, now we're just going to win through damage. If you want to, I mean, like, if you're going to waste your turn doing this when you miss two land drops, that is totally fine. Because the point is, if we if if we keep mana up, they're just not going to do it on our turn. They're, they're going to do it on our. They're not going to do it on their turn. They're going to do it on our turn, uh, which means we're just never going to get to play anything. Sure. I think we're just winning because you're missing land drops, which is the, uh, as you as you've experienced from my own personal folly, uh, a great way to win and lose Magic matches. I could have played this to draw to try to hit a land, but we have guys, so we're just gonna put more power on the board. Because they're at 11 and we have seven power on board, which is pretty good. Undrum Tuna, that's a meme from yesterday. That is not an actual statement. They are, yeah, they're just memeing. Okay, so this is nice because now we just get to keep up everything. Yeah. Oh, no blocks at all. Good deal. Uh, ooh, I'd rather you didn't do that. I like that. I like my snapper, Drake. So now you have to block this guy and lose a mana source, which is pretty brutal. Yeah, this game is over, unfortunately. Yeah, alright, so... 2-1 <laughs> with the mill deck. Not not ideal, but, you know, game 2 went uh, just as expected. We get to get, get to game 3, and then we don't get to play our spells. Either way... Pretty, pretty fun draft. I'm okay with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you haven't done so, check out my Patreon page. Check out my Twitch profile. The links are in the description below. And I'll see you next time.